Okay, we are back. And I went and found me a rag here. We're going to get some of this lacquer thinner I got over here. And clean that off a little better. So we really can get a, a visual on that. That's one thing that you want. You, you want your valves and your head to be as clean as possible because uh, they do wear in about the first, I don't know, 30 hours or, or more running. Uh, they, tend to, uh, they tend to run better. Yeah, I know you can see that now. And that's what you're looking for. And I'll probably wipe this valve off in the process of doing this. If it wasn't 10 times, it was 20. Uh, just just because I, I want to be real mindful that we are not taking any anything off there. We have a smooth surface, but we do have um, a seat right there that, that is not smooth when you feel it, but it is not indented into this valve head. Uh, you do not want that, uh, especially on a new, uh, brand new replacement valve like this one is. So what uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that that marking off of there that purple. I don't believe we need that. Uh, we really didn't need it. I just wanted to show y'all that uh, that is something you need to do if you're doing your own there in your shop. Uh, I mean, just use the tools that make it easier. Uh, and then the ones that make it harder, uh, put them, you know, out there on the trailer for the uh, flea market. And uh, let somebody else try them out. Because the tool that works for me may not work for you. So, just be mindful of that. And that is probably, uh, probably true to uh, the highest level of... Uh, truth could be is uh, what works for me may not work for you so and you see they ran that that valve guide out there and then they just sawed it off um, did the same on this side here and if I might show y'all something like I said that this valve is back from the machine shop and I, and I have uh, worked on this one um, just just to a minimum I haven't done much cleaning on it but lacquer thinner on the cloth and we're just going to wipe around that head there and you see how much came off I'm going to get a clean spot you see the clean spot there for this one and see how much came off of that one so um I mean I can't say enough about getting these clean when they come back from someone else's shop uh, I know I keep saying machine shop, but if you have anybody repair something, don't assume that they cleaned up because I found most of the time uh, it's not going to be the case. So just be aware of that. And if you are, well, that ain't right. You know, we need to, uh, there we go. I won't be moving around there too much. I think what we're going to do is, I think we're going to leave that as is. And, uh, take a look at this other one real fast. And then we'll, uh, We'll move over to another one and we'll talk about another, a different uh, brand of head. Not much different in the, uh, the workings of it, but uh, the valves are different for sure. And uh, it'll be one that we're going to use original valves. And it's actually an engine out of that 100 engine uh load that me and dad went up yonder and got it's uh it's a rock island engine and it's out of that uh group of engines 
And it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a rough engine at first glance. But uh, when I got it here at the, the home place, I uh, looked it over once again and realized that it was a lot better than I had first first thought. And it will be one that I will keep for some time. Um, no need to paint it. So we're just going to get it together and get it running. The, uh, the valves on it were really uh, really good. I mean, better than than I ever expected the valve were. And I and, and I'm going to soak this head in some uh, some lacquer thinner. There's just no way around it. All these heads that came back from that machine shop will go in a uh, bucket of lacquer thinner. I've been been using that lacquer thinner for a while in that same bucket and some about lacquer thinner if you don't know this already which you if you used it you know it uh, if you leave it out there on the on the sideboard uncovered um, you come back tomorrow it'll be half gone so it is uh, it is that type of uh, Solution. Okay, that's that John Deere one and a half horsepower. And we do have our guides in there. And uh, I mean, we got a good fit. Really good. Nice, nice seats on both. Um, it's going to be a good, a nice head. Um, that engine should run very well. All right, I said we was going to talk about that. Uh, Rock Island head, but I think we're going to talk about this Fairbanks.